Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. I know I haven't really been on this like the last few days or so because I haven't been able to record. It's been trash. I haven't been able to do anything. So it seems like it is working now. I've been having a lot of like internet issues as well. And I think that is kind of what was playing into it. Uh, it seems to be working now. This is currently my Road to Glory deck. Uh, those last three cards are, I'm training them. The Seth Rollins is almost done actually. Uh, and that Roman Reigns, I actually got from my last King of the Rings, so, you know, I got that Roman Reigns, um, I think in the first Road to Glory that they had for WrestleMania tier, it was Roman Reigns was the card, so I've got, um, you know, I'm working on that now to make a pro. Um, I've been, I've been taking my sweet ass time when it comes to this, uh, Road to Glory, though. Like, it's Friday night, I had today off work, and it's past two o'clock in the morning, and here I am, you know, um, only 50 points into Sting. Usually by now, especially with having a Friday off, I would have this done by now. Um, but I think that's that's kind of a little bit telling on um, how I feel about this game right now. I've just been, like, so out of it. I haven't really wanted to play. Uh, I recently picked up Rocket League on Steam. I already had it on Xbox, and now I'm playing it on Steam as well. Um, you know, because Zionix, you know, the company that makes Rocket League, I just want to give them more of my money. <laughs> like, I purchased all the DLC and all that, and now it's just a, a matter of working my way back up the ranks in Rocket League, because, so, you know, you get accused of smurfing and stuff because... You know, your title is, like, rookie, but, you know, you're pulling off aerials and stuff. It's, um, man, the, the camera is, like, really choppy today. And, you know, you, know you, you wouldn't expect to see a rookie pulling off aerials or the way that you're setting up passes and stuff. So, if you got Steam and you got Rocket League and you want to play, um, you know, just let me know. Because uh, I'd always like more people to play with in uh, Rocket League. I've kind of got a solid group of a couple people that um, I was going on the Reddit and stuff trying to figure that out just to get with uh, new people to play. So I got a decent amount of people that I do play with, but you know, it never hurts to, to play with more just to do some casual stuff like that. Um, Raw. Uh, I'm sure I talked about some of it in the last video, but you know, may as well talk about some of the other stuff now that I've watched more of it. Uh, first of all, I don't think John Cena should have come out in those Ellen DeGeneres, uh, shorts. Like, I, I get it that, you know, it was a joke, but it's hard to take him serious, at least for me, when he's doing something like that. Uh, it was cool to see AJ Styles in the same ring as John Cena, which answers the age-old question, which is better, TNA or WWE? I guess it's TNA if we have anything to go by uh, what happened on there. Um, but I believe like that swerve that they were doing worked quite well. When the week before, when AJ had that in-ring thing with the club, saying, um, you know, uh, you know, we got to go our separate ways or whatever, it was believable. Yeah, uh, you really th thought that he was, you know going to move on to a different program and that you know this was how they introduced the club and now you know they're they're going they're going away now because you know they've gone through their program with uh aj styles so to see that turn just like that that you know aj is actually you know with the club beating up cena i thought that was great um Looking back at it, I am surprised they didn't do uh, John Cena and AJ Styles taking on the club in a tag team match. And if they had done it like that, I think more people would have seen it coming that AJ was going to attack uh, John Cena. Would or like I'm sure they would have spoiled it by having like Michael Cole say something, but like, well, what if he this? What if this is all just a swerve and he's still with the club? Then people would be going. They wouldn't mention that unless they were something was going to happen. So the fact that it just like happened was perfect. Uh, it was announced today that they're having a match at Money in the Bank. Uh, first time ever, John Cena taking on 
AJ Styles. Um, like, so that's tough. I, I think it's tough to book that one properly. Do you have AJ Styles lose on pay-per-view again? He hasn't won on pay-per-view yet. Like, you know, he debuted at the Royal Rumble, you know, you didn't win the Royal Rumble, but, you know, I don't really think any of us expected him to as when we saw him there. Um, oh, what did he have next? I think, what's the pay-per-view after? I can't remember the name of the pay-per-view after the Royal Rumble, which is going to bug me now, but I think that's when he took on Chris Jericho, and he lost that one. And then he lost at WrestleMania to Jericho. Then he lost at payback was that the yeah payback against roman reigns and then he lost at extreme rules against roman reigns so do you have him lose the next pay-per-view to john cena but john cena's been off for the last few months and do you have him lose in his pay-per-view return so it's it's probably going to be either a dis a, like a double disqualification or I'll say AJ wins with help from the club, but he didn't even beat Roman Reigns with help from the club. So, um, I don't. It's going to be interesting to see. I'm. That's uh, probably the match I'm really excited about, other than the Money in the Bank ladder match. And so I know we've got six people so far in uh, the Money in the Bank, and they had, when it first came out on Raw saying, you know, there's going to be seven people, they had the silhouette uh, to say that there will be a seventh person, but unless I was just imagining it, I think, that, like, the last time they brought it up, they didn't have the seventh silhouette anymore, and they were just saying, you know, these are the six people that have qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match, but they don't mention the seventh person anymore, and I, I could be just imagining that, but that's what... I'm pretty sure I remember hearing and seeing, but you never know with me, with, you know, sleep deprivation, stuff like that, staying up till, you know, three o'clock in the morning every day playing Rocket League, um, it's going to catch up to you eventually. So if they're not having the seventh person now, now I, f I find it strange that you know, that they advertised it. I'm sure they had planned it out ahead who they wanted in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm thinking they might leave the seventh as a surprise until, you know, and we find out at uh, Money in the Bank. Kind of like a few years ago when The Miz inserted himself in the... in the WWE uh, title Money in the Bank match when they had the one that John Cena won. The Miz entered himself at the pay-per-view so i'm wondering if they're going to do something like that but it's who are they going to uh have as the seventh person i'm th like thinking like all the way to the extreme and saying like this is how you debut finn balor is having him as the seventh person in the money in the bank but i don't think he should be winning it if he is in it so i don't really think that's a good idea to bring him in if you're just going to have him lose in the money in the bank it's different when you have someone debut in the Royal Rumble because, you know, it's the Royal Rumble. You know, it's... They're not going to have someone who makes his debut in the Rumble, like, win it. Like, that'd be, that'd be weird if they did actually do that. But I'm thinking it's Dean Ambrose that's actually going to win the Money in the Bank briefcase this year because you've got the main event of Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns for the title. And if Dean Ambrose has the Money in the Bank briefcase, uh, Seth Rollins isn't going to win the title in his first match back for the title. I don't think he's going to win it. So, or it's going to be, you know, he loses by disqualification or some something like that. But then you've got Dean Ambrose lurking with the briefcase. Does he cash in on Roman Reigns, his brother or whatever the hell they wanted to call each other? So that could make it very interesting or potential, you know, shield triple threat match now. One that I'm sure that they've been, you know, frothing at the mouth trying to hold that one in that uh, that they do it. But 
what day is it right now? It's Friday. See how this weekend goes. Maybe they'll announce something about that seventh person, but this is a WWE. I'm sure they won't. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please take care.